Frank. Hey, Tony. How you doing? I'm glad you can make it tonight. Yeah, you know what your wife's cooking. Well, you shouldn't be encouraging such disastrous <laughs> talent. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna eat myself to death one of these days. <laughs> Look, um, Detective Roberts was caught sneaking around the marina again last night. You know, personally, make sure it gets taken care of, but I thought you should know. Thanks. I think I got a good idea of the situation. Hey, there's my favorite chef on this side of Jersey. Frank, it's been too long. Please, sit down. So, how is Carmela? Honestly, things aren't so good. Um, she rags about something every day. She, she says we don't communicate or something. Like, something's distracting me. Are you distracted? No, she's, she's just imagining things. Well, I find that our imagination is backed by parts of truth and logic. I feel we shouldn't always let our imagination get the best of us. Anyway, I didn't mean to bring my problems into your home. I apologize. No, nonsense. Consider my home your home. After all, your troubles could be mine. Frank, there's another reason why I asked you here tonight. Well, what is it? Something wrong? I'm afraid so. You've noticed the extra close watch the detectives have been giving the family lately. Well, some of our businesses have been put on hold. It's costing me a lot of money. Well, yeah. The pressure will subside soon and then we can continue business. I wouldn't worry too much. How am I supposed to not worry? about the business, about my family, about my, my own well-being. This, this isn't just gonna go away. They have documents, pictures of you and me at the marina. They stole papers from my chest in my office. Only someone who I give great trust is allowed access into that room when I am not there. What, Tony? You think somebody in the family is ratting you out? Honey, <clears throat> can you excuse us for a moment? Power can be a wonderful thing, Frank. It can also be a detriment to one's character if not used correctly. Unfortunately, the need for power is in our nature. But there are many different ways to satisfy the need for power. But no one would be stupid enough to defy you for your power in this family. No? I believe it's vengeance. Somebody is seeking revenge to gain a sense of power. I've been thinking about my situation. On who would betray me in this way. And it brings me to great suffering to think that somebody that I trust, somebody that I considered family, would want to cause me this hurt. Tony, to disrespect me! I'm sorry, Frank. 
you can understand how this, <clears throat> this situation has been a little stressful. Let me finish. I've come to the conclusion that the person doing this really wants to see me suffer. Every day, I get asked for favors. And all I ask for in return is respect. But the person, this person, who's watching me suffering, he can only be considered my worst enemy. A threat of this magnitude can only be detrimental to everything we've worked on. You can understand the predicament that this puts me in. So what does this mean? Well, it is in my nature to be compassionate to those who attempt to redeem themselves. So what this means is it's not my decision to determine the outcome of the situation. What do you want me to say? Look, I know what you're thinking, but, but that's not the case. <laughs> when I put Adrian in charge of the finances in the marina job, you came bursting into my office the next day claiming it should have been you. I was having a rough day. I apologize many times for that. I take you underneath my wing, teach you everything I know, and you use it against me? You go behind my back? You haven't been as faithful to your family as you'd like to think, Tony. Otherwise, Isabella wouldn't need me to satisfy her every week. What? How dare you come into my house and disrespect me, you son of a bitch! <laughs>